Hi guys, in this video I'm going to review the Absima AB2.4 kit. Um, it took me around sort of two, two, three hours to build. It's a fairly straightforward build. Some of the the, uh, the instructions aren't exactly very clear. Um, I'm not sure if it is a, a Chinglish sort of guide where it's been sort of translated from Japanese to English. Um, the grammar seems to be quite good. Um, and I believe the manufacturer are based in Germany, um, whether or not the kits are uh, produced in Germany, I'm not sure. Um, but it, overall, it seems to be a, an absolutely cracking set of, uh, set of sort of kit for the money. I paid £60, uh, well just over £60 for the kit. Um, and for the money, I, I really don't think you can go wrong in comparison to some of the other major cheap sort of buggies that are out there. Um, Abseema also do a very very similar Truggy kit, which is sort of the same sort of size, same sort of uh, same sort of uh, chassis layout, if you like. Um, but uh, I've not obviously used that. I've not got that. But uh, maybe in the future, if, uh, if 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 this proves out to be uh, fairly reliable, then I might uh, I might purchase and do a, a very similar review for that as well. So. Three body clips keep the uh, keep the body shell on. The body shell is pre-painted, but you do get a nice sort of uh, load of stickers, which is pretty cool. Um, you can use those for for different things as well. It's not we're not all just we don't all say Absima, for example. The, uh, some of them do have sort of some weird funky funky logos on it like this, which I believe is the Absima Absima logo. If you see that, um, the kit itself is, is 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 quite well equipped. The only thing I was missing um, was a servo horn. Um, people in previous reviews I've watched before I made the purchase were claiming that they were sort of sealed bags with no screws in there. I think they've sort of uh, cracked down on that. I think they've realised that there was obviously a manufacturing issue where the screws weren't in the bags at the point of sealing them, which was a, obviously a bit of a disaster if you're trying to build the thing. You can buy the ready, ready to run brushed version from uh, Model Sport UK for around £110, which is still as good, but obviously I went for brushless. Now the setup I've got is is fairly cheap. This is all about a uh, building a a buggy on a budget, so to speak. Um, it's a uh, what's it? Gul RC uh, three thousand eight hundred kilovolt motor uh, motor, a uh, sixty amp speed controller, and a twenty kilogram metal gear JN something or other. It's uh, it is a cheap and cheerful one. It only cost me twelve pound. The um, JN JX. I'm not entirely sure. 20 kilogram, um, absolutely uh, chuffed to bits with this. Really, it uh, seems to be a really good bit of kit for the uh, for 12 pound. It's it's up there in terms of performance so far with what I've used. It, you know, so I've seen um, with some of the Savox range, um, which are you know f five six times the price of this. Um, the motor and speed controller sent me back around 30 pound. It came from China. Um, it, you know, it's obviously if you're buying things off eBay, just check that you're. Uh, their feedback is good, their ratings are good. Um, I got it within about two weeks, which is fairly decent. The motor heatsink came with the kit, which was quite a nice touch. Um, I did not expect that to come uh, with the kit, but I did have to make a few modifications to the to the chassis or to the top deck um, and the battery cover. So if I just spin this around. So I'm using a Florion 7.4 volt, 5,400 milliamp lithium polymer two cell. It is quite a big chunky battery. It's a hard case and you can remove the battery terminals. Um, but as you can see, the positive terminal was very close to the top deck. So I decided to um, drill a hole into the plastic. So obviously, yeah, you do have to disconnect the positive terminal to take the battery out, but it, it's, it looks quite neat and it is very, very snug. Um, this battery is not moving whatsoever and this does help with the sort of the addition of this foam insert and um, just have a sort of a double-sided sticky tape on the bottom already already applied um, it's not fitted um, to the sh to the bathtub chassis it's it's just sort of in the kit and you can fit that yourself um, another slight modification was to the battery cover where I had to make a sort of in in, in a groove if you like in there just to uh, just to allow the uh, the negative terminal to sit which is going to the uh, the free for free pin charger um, I drill the holes using a just a very cheap and cheerful cone cutter attached to a, a drill um, and just uh, just take your time really um, if you if you face these sort of issues I, I, I've used these hard case batteries for a long time um, and I, I, I'll, I'll try to do obviously try to make it fit and I think it's, uh, it's quite a tidy job um, 
The shocks are oil filled. Um, I had no issues with leaky shocks. I've heard people saying, you know, they've, they've leaked um, sort of whilst they've been in storage or whatnot, and they've they've received the kit and there's oil everywhere inside the bag, which is obviously not not very good. Um, but you must have, just 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 sort of to bear in mind that a lot of manufacturers do apply oil to a lot of the components to uh, to prevent corrosion during storage and uh, whilst it's being sort of moved around. Uh, it's you know, you, you can tell by the sort of sometimes there's a brown haze on the inside of the uh, the plastic bags. The spaces that can be provided do the job. Um, I've got sort of the thin spaces on the front just to try and stiffen it up a bit, and I've got the fatter spaces on the back again just to stiffen the back end up. This is a very heavy buggy, um, purely down to the my, my sort of the electrics that I've got. Um, it is a metal geared servo, it's slightly heavier than a say a plastic geared. The battery is absolutely huge. Um, and it only just fits. Um, it is a very snug fit, which is absolutely, it's just perfect. Um, issues that I had in terms of when I was doing the build, the um, every, a lot of it's pre-built, to be honest. The divs are built, the um, turnbuckers are already sort of all, all there, all at the correct lengths. The shocks are built, there's no need to, you know, top them up with oil or anything like that, unless obviously they're leaking. Um, the servo horn wasn't included, which was a pain, but I, I did have one, which was which was good. Um, the steering was a bit of a pain to uh, to adjust um, and install, but once once you get it, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, it's just sort of trying to get it all in, all in there, uh, all sort of fitted to it, and then you sort of get an idea of how it should go. Um, the turning circle isn't particularly great. Um, the full lock on the steering isn't particularly huge. Uh, I don't know if this is because it's a 1 in 10 vehicle um, or if it's a uh, just a limitation of the actual steering arms themselves. They are fairly close to the tyres. If I just turn this on, receiver's on or straight away, speed controller's on. I mean that is, if I just sort of move the camera so you've got a different angle. That's full lock right, full lock left. Um, I can't imagine this being a, a huge issue. Because um, obviously blipping the throttle, if you're on loose terrain, sort of dirt, I'm sure the back end would kick out so you could sort of turn it around fairly quickly. But on a track, you obviously don't want to lose traction. That slows you down. Um, and obviously it's not really a, a track sort of competition level buggy. It's more of a, an enthusiast sort of hobby, sort of trying to get into the hobby um, on, on the cheap, really. Um in terms of hop-up parts, I would love to see shock mounts available in uh, sort of anodized or an aluminium. Um, I'd love to see the bathtub chassis aluminium because I can imagine this breaking fairly or getting scratched, should I say, um, and snapping, which is probably one of the weakest things of uh, one of the, the, the poorer properties of plastic. Um, it is fairly flexible, as I'll sort of demonstrate now. It does have quite a lot of give, but I can imagine with age, the plastic will become just a, it's a bit more brittle. The prop shaft, which is fitted for the, uh, the four-wheel drive, it goes from obviously diff to diff. Um, the, the diffs are geared, um, but the prop shaft itself does have a lot of slack in there. I don't know if you can see. If I just move that in the light, um, you can just see the pin, um, and it is about sort of middle, if you like. Um, so there is, for me, a little a slight concern that the prop shaft could pop out. Um, if there's a, a lot of flex on the chassis after say, a, a big jump. All right, the the clips aren't in, uh, the clips are in, the body clips are themselves, but these small uh, sort of uh, attach um, these are just cable ties with a bit of uh, heat shrink on, which I've put on just to make things a bit easier. Um, I've ho I hope you you've enjoyed the video, um, and if you obviously have any questions in terms of the the car itself, the buggy, sorry, um, just put them in the comments below. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I mean ultimately it may have made or sort of given you the, um, the information that you require to, to make a purchase or maybe not make a pur purchase. Um, ideal for kids really, um, if they're sort of, I say kids anyway, sort of, sort of 12 onwards really. I wouldn't want anyone younger than that messing around with a brushless system but there's nothing stopping you from putting a, a brush set up in there just to sort of ease them into it so we don't uh, instantly break it as soon as they've got the controller in their hands. Um, just before I quickly go, you do get the plastic um, pinion, uh, sorry, plastic spur and brass pinion, but what's fitted is the steel, um, steel pinion and spur, which is provided in the kit as well. 
All right. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.